Hey everybody, it's Red Kiwi here. Today we're going to do a video on Microsoft Teams, the communications and telephony capabilities that are now in the product. So when we talk about modern telephony uh, or modern communications, what we're really sort of, or lots of organizations are sort of moving in the direction of uh, chat-based, messaging-based, uh, video-based communications. Uh, but obviously there are lots of organizations that still use the more traditional legacy communications, which is often referred to as PSTN uh, or really telephone number based communications. So for Microsoft Teams to be a, a fully fledged communications and collaborations uh, solution, not only do we embrace the, the sort of more modern way of communicating, we still need to embrace and bring together the more traditional way of communicating as well. So we're starting to bring those capabilities over from uh, Skype for Business into Teams. So this is including being able to make and receive telephone calls to telephone numbers, being able to schedule uh, meetings that people can dial into, uh, being able to leave voicemails and being able to read them, and then have a, a rich mobile experience with the Teams app on iPhone and Android where you can make and receive calls and dial into meetings uh, from your mobile phone. So we'll take a look at all of that in the next few minutes. Okay, here we are in the Teams client. Now, some of you may or may not have this menu in your Teams client, but the uh, it will be coming soon, calls and meetings. So let's examine calls. So as we went through in the slide previously, we need to be able to make and receive phone calls. So when you click on the calls tab, you can go down here to the dial pad and do you know, 505, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and hit call. And it is going to call that telephone number. If somebody calls us, uh, let's see what that experience looks like. So what you'll see is down the bottom right hand corner, you'll get a little pop up saying that somebody is calling you. It'll provide you with the, the person or the telephone number. You can accept the call, decline it. So now we've accepted the phone call. And from here, we can mute the call. We can put it on hold. We could transfer it to somebody. We could do a consult then transfer. We can get access to a keypad in case you need to enter in commands. And there'll be a lot more capabilities coming as well over the next coming months. So if you go up to the settings menu up here and go to settings, there is a calls area to the settings and you can change some of the settings. More settings will be coming as uh, they get rolled into Microsoft Teams, but you can say, uh, how do you want to income handle incoming calls? They just ring me or you could forward calls to if you are working from a cabin or a batch or a, um, another work location, you could forward those calls to there. Uh, or you could say, call me, but also ring another number. Or if the call is unanswered, go to voicemail or redirect it to another person as well. Could be another option that you can use. And then you can also configure voicemail in here as well, which is a good segue. So if someone does call you and leaves a voicemail, that will go into the voicemail area. So within here, we get all the voicemails that people have ever left us. Uh, we can click on one of those voicemails. We can listen to the voicemail. Uh, there sometimes is a transcription available as, and you can listen to them obviously in any order that you like. So the next part is we've been able to dial in and dial out and listen to our voicemail. The next thing is how do we set up a, a meeting where people can dial in from a phone? So if we go to meetings and you go to schedule a new meeting, you can put in a title. We can make it a Microsoft Teams meeting. Let's invite somebody. You can go to the scheduling assistant and you can see what the availability is like for all the people that you've invited. So let's go ahead and schedule that meeting. If we jump over to our Outlook calendar, we can now see that that meeting is 
in our Outlook calendar. And if we double click on it, we can click on this link to join the Microsoft Teams meeting, or we can dial in. The other thing that you might want to do is schedule a meeting from Microsoft Outlook. So let's schedule something for 11 o'clock. And there's a new icon here that says, make it a Teams meeting. So when we click that button, it will add that joining capabilities. You can click the link to join, or you can use the telephone number to join as well. So it makes it really easy to either do it from Outlook, if you're more comfortable with that, or doing it from the Teams client itself. So here we are in the Teams app on iOS. And as you can see down the bottom, we've got activity, chat, Teams, meetings and calls. So you may or may not have the calls um, part in your app, but when you do tap it, you'll be able to see your calling history. So these are people that you have called. Uh, and if you've called a telephone number instead of a person, it'll show the telephone number here as well. You can tap over here and get access to your voicemail, or you can tap up here, the top right, and get access to a dial pad so you can dial out uh, if somebody dials your number, your Teams number, Teams telephone number, then your app will ring and you will get a notification on your phone that someone is trying to call you. And then you can take that call and effectively take your work number with you, no matter where you are, as long as you've got an internet connection. So the other aspect to this is joining meetings. Once you have a meeting set up in your calendar for that is a Teams meeting, you'll get this join button that shows up in your, your calendar request. Now, the nice thing about that is that you can just tap that join button and it's going to go ahead and join that meeting without you having to enter in anything at all. So if we do a quick review just before we wrap up, uh, we've been able to show how to make and receive a telephone call in Microsoft Teams, how to schedule a meeting. We did that from the Teams client and we also did that in the, uh, the Outlook client and showed how you can dial into those meetings. We showed how if someone does leave a voicemail, you can access it from the Teams client and you can listen to it or read it. And we also showed the experience of being able to make and receive a call and join a meeting from your mobile phone as well. So that is the modern telephony capabilities that are in Teams today. As I said, more and more features will be coming uh, as we migrate those features over from Skype for Business. So stay tuned. If you like the video today, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates on when I'm going to be putting out new videos. Uh, and will if you've got any questions, please put them in the comments. I'll get to them as quickly as I can. All right. Thanks very much. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.